Shepherd. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis addressed the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, Scotland today, telling world leaders that the Bahamas cannot outrun the threat of climate change any more than the world can ignore its broad implications. Making what he calls a plea on behalf of all humanity, the Prime Minister told conference delegates that time is running out especially for the countries that do little to exacerbate the climate change crisis. Here's Kishla Adderley. In just under five minutes, Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis told the world that time is running out on the issue of climate change. Addressing the COP 26th Climate Change Conference in Scotland today, the Prime Minister said the Bahamas is subject to the action or inaction of developed countries. We cannot outrun your carbon emissions. We cannot outrun the hurricanes, which are growing more powerful. And we cannot outrun rising sea levels as our islands disappear beneath the seas. Hurricane Dorian, that monster Category 5 hurricane, which devastated two of our main islands, feels like it descended upon us just yesterday. We still don't know exactly how many died and some people still tremble at the first drop of rain. But every day, our yesterday is already becoming your todays and fast becoming all of our tomorrows. Prime Minister Davis said while his plea is deeply personal, literally hitting home, the impact of climate change also has multilateral implications. Without change, if you are lucky, we will become refugees. Without change, if we are unlucky, then we will be left to the mercy of future Hurricane Dorians. More of my people will die. More will be left traumatized and homeless. People will be forced to flee. But flee to where? These are my neighbors, my family, and friends. My plea is both urgent and deeply personal. And I make it on behalf of all humanity. Hammering home the results of a quarter of a century of repeated, fruitless COP talks, the Prime Minister appealed to the world's leaders not to continue the status quo. Are we brave enough for this moment? Are we braver than our predecessors who led our nations at the previous 25 climate change meetings? Can we summon the courage and ingenuity and determination to succeed where they did not? But morally and ethically, it has to be beyond imagination and conscience that we do so little until it becomes too late. Please, do what is needed, not what you can get away with. Turn promises and agreements into action. Don't hide behind buzzwords and hazy assurances. Don't let the failures of the past limit our ambition for the present. Have the courage to acknowledge that failure today will lead directly to destruction for humanity tomorrow. Prime Minister Davis emphasized the Bahamas is not and has never been the problem and has asked for financing and technology transfer as the beginning of the solution to saving humanity. Kishla Adderley, ZNS Network News. Well, ahead of his address, Prime Minister Davis paid a courtesy call on Secretary General of the Commonwealth, the Right Honorable Patricia Scotland QC. The Commonwealth comprises 54 independent and equal sovereign states, 32 of its members are small states, many of which are island nations. Their work helps to grow economies and boost trade, deliver national resilience, empower young people, and address threats such as climate change, debt, and Once equality. Once get HIV, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. Being diagnosed early gives you a chance of living a long and healthy life. Testing is the only way to know for sure if you have HIV. And knowing your status means that you can protect yourself and your sexual partners. Getting an HIV test is quick, easy, free, and your results are 100% confidential. Get tested and know your status.